Besides its scenic landscape, Coast Province is also known for its vibrant nightlife. Tourists as well as locals flock prominent night spots. But tonight, a different group joins the nightlife here in Tuapa, one of the famous spots at the coast, but with a different mission. They have come to set up a moonlight VCT center. We target populations which rarely um, have time to go to the health facilities during the day. People like um, the sex workers, the clients of sex workers, and we are also targeting uh, men having sex with men. Since its inception two years ago, the initiative has gained popularity especially amongst sex workers. In a day when we are conducting moonlight, uh, we test between 200 and 300 people. We started from six and we'll go up to about two or two thirty and close. So we are likely to see many people. Meet Dorothy, a sex worker. She was orphaned at the tender age of 13. From what she came to learn later, her parents died as a result of AIDS-related complications. All my siblings were just, they were just about the same age and we did not have that guidance. So the next exposure that we got is that sex work equals money. And for someone like me, I basically just wanted to complete my education and I didn't get a chance to do that. So it was just the basic fact of getting money and putting food on the table. Because of their sexual encounters with different partners, sex workers are at a high risk of HIV infection. But for Dorothy, the findings are just great on paper. If I brought 10 sex workers and 10 no ordinary people here and get test them, surprisingly, all these 10 sex workers might turn out negative. And while these other people might, all of them, be positive, sex workers do not carry diseases. This is just a picture that society has just planted on us and everyone just takes it as a bad thing. According to this young toilet girl, the society should not point fingers at sex workers, but HIV knows no boundaries. A woman who is married is a housewife, sleeps with a husband, he pays rent, buys her clothes, buys her food, does everything for her. But she's just a housewife, she's not a sex worker. But here, yeah, this is someone who will go outside and sleep with someone and get the money and buy all those stuff for herself. What is the difference? Though she advocates for the rights of sex workers, Dorothy also knows the importance of knowing one's HIV status. She is now part of this nocturnal VCT center. I saw what the impact of HIV and AIDS has on the community. I just wanted to do it and maybe like spread the word and you know just help people when it comes to HIV and AIDS. Because I did not get the help or my parents did not get the help when they, when they needed it. So I'm in, in some way society took from me but I'm still giving back to them. This VCT center may be a welcome idea, but its running hasn't been without challenges. We are dealing with uh, people who are from nightclubs. Some of them can come when they are drunk. You, you have people working at uh, up to midnight. So these people have to be transported at night at home. So it's also risky. Kenya hopes to test almost 80% of its citizens by the year 2010. This could be a reality if people don't shy away from centers like this. We definitely need to ensure that we engage our young people, and especially those ones who are out of school and have no employment. What we are working on is the change of behavior. And this is something which is practical. Given the opportunity, yes, I would take myself out of sex work, but I would still very much help sex workers. As for Dorothy, Mtuapa nightlife brings livelihood, but HIV and AIDS remains a subject close to her heart. For Eyewitness News, I'm Violet Otindo.